All right, finally done with all the tomatoes. Look. staked up so now we're gonna go ahead and tie them up because they're actually they've grown really good so i'm gonna go ahead and get them tied up so uh let's finish that finish the peppers then we're gonna put new fresh hay in the chicken coop uh just because all the rain we want to make sure they look good and and are doing okay uh we had to weed some of our strawberry beds out so we're going to, have to redo some of those beds some of it's coming back up but there's not looking as healthy as the ones in the greenhouse so we're gonna figure out what to do there too and then uh we'll finish up go deal with some cows and build some bee boxes so busy day but uh just bring y'all on for it now look how much neater that looks we got them all tied up me and aa's got them done um now they've got good airflow look underneath them uh, single stem raising got all the junk out from under them so they can breathe real good unlike those that are doing okay but they're struggling breathing because i didn't trim them like i am i physically go back and trim them a little bit too so they can keep on thriving for a little bit longer but these are looking good so we're gonna go ahead and work on our peppers and get those finished and i think the peppers are okay other than just a few but uh we're gonna get this netting away from it like this one and i think we'll be okay all right we are finished with these two beds look how good they look look at those peppers i've never had peppers go to this kind of height as a tomato so i'm, I'm anxious to see kind of how the peppers do uh they're in pure chicken fertilizer it might be what it is but they're doing good we got them up it's been a long day already so we are going to call it quits for the day and start on another project a little bit later but uh you know what we got a lot done we got all the beds done we got the cows moved uh at the other at the other place with the beef cattle so i'm i'm happy with what we've done for today have y'all been hard at work hanging out in the pool yep. so so we have the big pool Mama won't let us get in it. but y'all are hanging out in this pool yeah. yep and we're gonna swim ladle swim ladle i love y'all be the day that aiden is going to work on building some bee boxes i'm going to finish up on the rest of the tomatoes and uh peppers that need to be uh tied up and then we're gonna start disking the, the garden kind of getting it ready for fall getting some of the old crop out and getting ready to start the new so aiden's gonna build those we'll show him building those in just a second he's gotta have some more deeps just for next season really for fall i don't think we'll need any right now for spring but we're gonna go and get them built uh he'll be back down here in just a second he's getting the drill and then we're gonna tie up the rest of the uh the rest of the tomatoes all right so what i'm doing is i'm gonna be building some beehives um I think these are gonna be deeps right here. I think they're deeps. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and build them. All right.
it got a little late the other day so we didn't get to the chicken coop so today we're gonna have new hay so they can have some new bedding and what's so cool is after it dries out with that new bedding it becomes great compost and we mix it in our compost so it's always fun to to rake it out and clean it up but we're gonna let them break it up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some hay in there now look how cool this is our sick chicken we've been nursing back so misty finally got it back so we got her by herself but look at this elderberry how much it's grown Okay, so I just put uh, some hay in the chicken coop. Um, they're looking pretty happy, scratching around in it. But anyway, so I, had, I scattered it around everywhere. Um, and I think they're gonna enjoy it. Uh, and all our animal chores are done, of course. We have the little chicks over there in the red coop done. We have the pigs over there in their pen done behind the flares. And um. Daddy's over there working on, um, he's over there working on some of our raised beds. Anyway, um, I guess I'll see y'all later. Alright, finally done with all the tomatoes. Look how good that looks. I almost look like little trees. We're really trying to keep all the, the breathing underneath it good. Keep away from blight, especially as it gets hot in the season. They're all, I mean, look at this. Have you ever seen tomatoes? I'm, I'm six foot or 5'11. All right, look how much, much taller. They're, I'm reaching now is seven and a half. So that's over that. You're close to nine foot, right? I mean, uh, eight foot at least right there. And they're, they're still growing. Look at that one way over there. It's about nine. It's a crazy height. Have you ever seen tomatoes look so good? But see, I gave them some better airflow. If you can see far off shot underneath look at all that how great that was look at these over here look at Aiden's job right here got all the chickens taken care of they're gonna mess with hay up too that's okay they're rooting around in it they are making chicken compost we're happy because they're making chicken compost all right, we're gonna try to beat the rain. We're gonna finish the corral. We've got to do a little work on the corral because it needs to be fixed. And we're gonna call it a day. So uh, we've got the first part of the fence started. This is the rest of the corral. We took the old fencing down. Um, it started raining, so we could not um, we could not show that. But so we started this. But we've got some thunder in the distance. It's getting late anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and and cut it off for the night. So it's been a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by haven't subscribed to us please do uh, we are def definitely trying to grow our channel uh, if you like what you see please comment like tell us about it and uh, if there's something else you want to see please tell us we love talking about our farm and love about talking about our homestead and I love talking about my family so we're always uh, open to suggestions on new videos so thank you so much for stopping by happy homesteading y'all